says he is. Says he is. My soul says he is. Says he is to you. My soul says he is. Says he is. Says he is. My soul says he is. Says he is to you. My soul says he is. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. Says yes. Says yes. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. Says yes. Yes, to your will. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. Says yes. Show. 
Yes, Lord. Says yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, says yes. yes. My soul says yes. Yes to your will, oh Lord. Says yes. Yes to your direction, to Lord. Your will. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Yes to your healing, Lord. Says yes. Yes to your wonders, Lord. Says yes. yes to your Yes, 
Spirit of the living God, 
in the midst of your people this evening as we are gathered together in the presence of the most holy God we pray that you will move in this place we pray that you will exercise your influence in this place we pray that your will and your agenda will indeed prevail in this place in the mighty name of Jesus somebody open up your mouth and just bless the name of the Lord worship and adore our master our king and our Lord on this 32nd day of our 40 days of prayer and fasting whether on site or online I urge you right now to just aggressively push before the throne of grace and mercy through your worship your adoration and your praise he is a good God he is a good God his intention is to do exceedingly and abundantly above whatsoever you ask or even think of and indeed he will do it if you will put your faith in him come on worship the king worship worship the one who is seated upon the throne worship the one who alone is worthy to receive the fruits of your lips hallelujah oh somebody just open up to him just open up to him something happens when you when you forget about everything else around you something happens when you forget about everything else and you concentrate on the lord to worship him something happens when it's all about him when your focus is not even on your need or your want or your desire but that your focus is on him who is highly exalted oh come on exalt him the more oh yes through your praise and your worship the bible says let us exalt his name together the god of your father the god of alf local the one who was and is and is to come we are building up an atmosphere for a breakthrough in this place as we are worshiping him giving him the very best that cometh from the innermost part of our being acknowledging there is none other that is worthy no one else is worthy of your praise and of your worship he is the lover of your soul he is the keeper of your heart he is the captain of the sheep that is taking you over to the other side oh he is the one who orders your steps he is the one holding your hand the good shepherd is what we call him he is leading us blessed be the one who alone reigns in the heavens on earth and even under the earth we have not found one that can be compared to him hallelujah ministries i'm talking about your redeemer your redeemer leaveth and he will stand the last oh he is standing for you all right in this 40 days of prayer and fasting he is standing for you and may god arise and his enemies be scattered as god is arising for you no enemy will be able to stand against you no enemy will be able to stand against you they will all have to fall before you because your god is arising your god is standing up your god is entering into this matter that concerns you
on Instagram, somebody bless the name of the Lord on IGTV. Worship Him with everything you are and everything you have. On Facebook, throw your hands in the air. Give Him your very best. Your worship is an offering. Your worship is a seed that you are planting on the ground to receive the very best that God has to offer. He created you to worship Him. He created you to worship Him. He has called us, yes, to be an assembly of worshipers. Bless His name, bless His name, bless His name. Bless His name, bless His name, bless His name. I see heaven answering you right now. I see heaven answering you as you are praying right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see heaven coming through for you. I see heaven coming through, backing you up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what is happening in the lives of all those who are looking to you, fixing their eyes on you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Blessed be your name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, open up to him. Open up to him. Open up to him. Allow, allow this moment to be the very moment, the very time that gets you closer to the very throne of grace and mercy from where your help cometh from. This is the place where you are rescued. This is the place where the very hand of God is stretched out to come to your rescue, to come to your help, to come to your aid. Help is on the way, help is on the way. It is not in vain that you're calling upon the name of the Lord. It is not in vain that you are fasting in this season. It is not in vain that you are putting food aside. It is not in vain that you are forgetting about so many other things that you would be busy with at this very time to focus on God and to call upon his name. It is not in vain. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Your reward is coming. Your reward is coming. Yes, yes, if you would believe, if you would believe, you will see the glory of God in this season. The glory of God is what awaits you, even as you are breaking the fast today, but also as you are praying for, as you are pressing forward towards the full. 40 days mande rabazeta kala baba bosheke zikate rebakotorobosia somebody on youtube is praying somebody on youtube is praying the church is praying the church is praying and the god of the church will indeed show up the god of the church will indeed show up the one who says in his word i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it i decree and i declare as you are fasting in this season the gates of hell will not prevail against you the weapons of the enemy will not prevail against you it does not matter how it is formed the way it is formed it shall not prevail against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I will build my church I will build my sons and my daughters I will build my disciples I will build my worshipers I will build those who call upon my name I will build those who are coming to me I will not 
forsake them. I will not reject them. I will not put them aside. But I will ensure one thing. Is that whatever hell is trying to do. Will not prevail against them. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of God is your portion. In this very season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The manifest presence of God is here. I said the manifest presence of God is here. The glory, the presence, the power of God is in this place. Somebody pray, speak to God. Pray, speak to God from the bottom of your heart. Tell him, tell him what you want. Oh, present unto him your very request in this season in the name of Jesus. He is sensitive to your cry. He is sensitive to your cry. Mandeka rebosia baba bosete. Sekete roba baba bosete. Mandekete raya baba bosete. Somebody pray, speak to God. Push, push. You are in his presence on AMI TV. Coming together as a family, calling upon the name of the Lord. I decree and I declare over you the best of God is coming your way. A visitation of the Almighty God is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, yes, not yesterday, but today, something new is being made for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Reba baba bosete ke zika ta baba bosha karabasete mande ke te la bahaya basete. Come on, lift your hands. All over the building, lift your hands. Repeat after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, may the manifestation of your presence be my portion in this season. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, may the manifestation of your worth, may the manifestation of your worth be, my in this time. be my portion in this time. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus may the manifestation of your power, be my portion in this time. In the name of Jesus, I receive your glory. I welcome your glory. I call upon your glory. Your glory is my portion. Your glory is my portion. Your glory is mine. In Jesus mighty name. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In Jesus mighty name. Put your hands together. Give the Lord a praise. Sons and daughters of the Lord put your hands together and give him a praise hallelujah can I hear a Holy Ghost crazy noise up in here can I hear those who know that they know that they know they are breaking through right now you are not just breaking the fast but you are breaking through you are breaking through to your blessing you are breaking through to your next level you are breaking through to the very thing that you desire to receive in this season in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth so shall it be it cannot be otherwise hallelujah day 32 day 32 hallelujah hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord yes blessed be the name of god saints of god sons and daughters of apostle of local please help me honor the spiritual father the man of god the anointing in the house of god the one that god has anointed and appointed for a time and a season such as this come on celebrate jesus for your father the general overseer and senior pastor of hallelujah ministries international apostle of luca hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord can you as well celebrate the lord in honor of the first lady 
of hallelujah ministries international my spiritual mother my inspiration bishop celeste locale come on put your hands together for mommy hallelujah we honor the international executive committee we honor our bishops the seven star general we honor him as well we honor all our pastors our ministers our leaders our disciples those who are connecting online we honor you as well you might just happen to connect it is not by accident this is by divine intent from God because something is just about to happen in your life that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus you may be seated in God's presence day 32 hallelujah something big is about to show up in your life in the name of Jesus Christ uh, surprise surprise God is about to blow your mind with something you did not expect I know you've been asking I know you've been petitioning but there is something that you did not even anticipate that is about to show up in your life in this season in the mighty name of Jesus somebody holler I receive it somebody holler I receive it ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters family of hallelujah ministries international i greet you in the awesome and most wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ and allow me quickly just to um, honor my dad for giving me the opportunity to stand behind his pulpit and before his people hallelujah i'm always confident in one thing i'm walking in alignment and in covenant with my dad hello that is very powerful and meaningful to me because as a son it just settles me it doesn't mean that I get too comfortable no it means I just know who I am and whose I am and I just know in what degree I am operating and I just want to thank God for that amen let us go into the word of God, the book of John chapter 11, verse 40. John chapter 11, verse 40. We read from the New King James Version, a story that many of you are acquainted with, familiar with. Some of you would even be able to quote this uh, scripture by heart. The Bible says, Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Jesus said to her, did I not say to you? It almost seems that there's a repetition there. Because the Bible starts by telling us in this verse 40 that Jesus said to somebody. Yet, as the Bible begins to quote the incite the Lord verbatim it starts again by saying did I not say to you the enemy like it or not there is a specific word that God has for you in this season are you hearing what I'm saying to you there is a general word but there is a rhema word a specific word a word in season for you a word that is tailor-made to your situation a word that is responding to your circumstances a word that will only make sense to you because that word is for you are you hearing what I'm saying to you sometimes in the house of God we don't understand why a neighbor will jump and say glory hallelujah and another neighbor will run to the altar and seal the word with an offering while the one sitting in between them is clueless of what has just been said it is because we might all be together in one place but we are hearing things differently according to our faith according to the very thing that has motivated our presence in the house of the Lord Jesus said to her 
What is the Lord saying to you in this season? What is the word of God that is coming in a specific manner for you? And that is really the answer that you have been believing and trusting God for in this season. What I love with the things of God is that they are spiritual. And, 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 and you must be able to tap in the spiritual realm to be able to receive your portion. Can I decree and declare over you that the word of the Lord for your season will not pass you by? Can I decree and I declare over you that the word that is specific for your miracle in this season will not pass you by? I decree and I declare that the very place where you need to be, the very time that you need to be in that place for you to receive the tailor-made word of God for your life will not pass you by. I said the devil is a liar Today is your day This moment is your moment This hour is your hour And this word is your word And God is not speaking to your neighbor God is not speaking to somebody else at home But God is speaking to you And the Bible said Jesus said to her if you're a little bit uncomfortable with the her, uh, well, I will contextualize it for you. Jesus said to him, somebody might have just said, no, Bishop, I hear you. I hear the her, but, but I'm a him, so I'm contextualizing it for you. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But Jesus said to him, maybe you're watching me right now and you are coming together as a family and the word is for your family so i said jesus said to them did i not say to you can i submit to somebody under the sound of my voice that many a time what the lord is saying in the new season is not necessarily something new it is just something you missed in the season before. It is something you did not understand in the season before. It is something that you had not yet matured enough to be able to receive, comprehend and understand. And that is why God is bringing it back to you again. And the Bible says, did I not say to you, the Lord is speaking to somebody under the sound of my voice. Did I not give you that promise? Did I not give you that instruction? Wasn't I the one who spoke when you heard me? Hallelujah. Did I not say to you that if somebody must come out of the realm of ifs and buts. Uh, are you hearing me? Because there is someone who must understand that you are actually standing as an obstacle to your own breakthrough you, you you're chasing devils and god say ain't no devil in here i've already spoken this word concerning you you are the only one standing against the miracle that i want to perform in your life in this season in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth because if you read the verse before a miracle is about to take place a miracle that a family has been waiting on a miracle that a community has been waiting on can i see anybody waiting on a miracle under the sound of my voice oh yes i see you therefore this word is your word and i bring it to you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth jesus was right at the place where the miracle needed to take place he was right at the location where they needed him to be. Can I say to somebody that the Lord is not far from the place where you need him to be. The Lord is not far from the matter in which you want him to intervene. The Lord is not far from the very issue in which you want to see him come through for you. But then the Lord said something. He said, remove the stone. Take away the stone. Take away the stone. Now, 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 now. 
the lady wanted to reason with God. You see, if you will use this, you will miss it all. Are you hearing me? By faith, you have to sometimes agree to be a little bit foolish. Because faith doesn't make sense. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Faith doesn't make sense. The only thing that makes sense is you believing God and taking him at his word. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, Martha, the sister of him, I'm just going a verse before. The sister of him who was dead said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. Lord, why would you even come in front of this tomb? Why would you even ask that we may take away the stone? Don't you understand the situation? Why are you trying to reason with God? When God is calling you, why are you trying to tell him that he's calling the wrong guy or the wrong woman altogether? When God is telling you it is your season, why are you trying to give God excuses about the, you know, the economic climate in the country right now? Why are you trying to remind him about the financial crisis that your country is going through? You know, just imagine you're speaking with God and he tells you something and you tell me, God, I'm not sure that can happen because we're in the season of load shedding. And I'm not sure that at a time time where you say that thing is going to happen that I will have the power electrical power that is to make that thing happen she began to reason with the Lord take your reasoning aside I know this cabeza like my father always says was given to you by the Lord and many a times you need to use it as well but when it comes to faith faith bypasses your mind can I say that again? Faith bypasses your mind. As long as you can believe God for it, even when it doesn't make sense, stick to it. Because something will happen. Lord, by this time there is a stench. For he has been dead four days. Uh, Lord, you're a little late. Uh, they closed. You know, the deadline date was the day before yesterday God is telling you I'm about to perform a miracle in your life right now and you say God if only you had been here the day before yesterday you know the deadline date was the day before yesterday what you don't understand is that God can cause a change in the deadline date just for you somebody is about to call you and say by the way I know you missed to drop your CV by a few hours but I got news for you we have have just rescheduled and postponed the deadline date just to allow you to drop your CV. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there is somebody under the sound of my voice who must understand your opportunity has not been taken away. I say your opportunity has not been stolen. Your time has not been taken away. God is speaking and is speaking now and is saying, I know there is a stench martyr I know this thing but over and above what you know hear the truth of the Lord over and above what you know about the situation you're going through hear the voice of the Lord who he is saying take away the storm remove it remove it remove it I'm about to do something that will blow your mind did I not say to you that if you would believe you would see the glory of God the glory of God is your portion I said the glory of God is your portion if you would dare believe God if you will be brave enough to believe him if you will be courageous enough to believe him irrespective and regardless of what you're going through the glory of God shall be your portion 
I see God manifesting his glory in your life and in your situation in the name of Jesus. You see, the glory is, and I'm going to close with this, many a times defined as the manifest presence of God. Do you know how bold you get when you know that you know that you're walking with the main man? Hello? Have you ever been in a situation where they were pulling you and you were in your small shoes and shaking until you saw your big brother coming through the corner and you knew that now help has come and all of a sudden you become bolder. You start answering back. They talk to you, you talk back. And the one who was bullying you cannot understand what is happening. This is the same guy that was crying just a minute ago. What they don't know is that your big brother has stepped onto the scene. I decree and I declare over you, God has just stepped on that scene. On the scene of your battle, God has just stepped on that scene. And what the devil doesn't know is that God be for you. Nothing and no one can be against you. I decree and I declare you're coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare he is bringing you into in the Old Testament Pastor JP when they will refer to the glory they will talk about the weight or the heaviness the weight of God I know you've heard this you know expression before this guy is coming here and is throwing his weight around Many a times when you're saying that, it's because you know there ain't nothing you can do about it. The guy is in such a high position that even as he's throwing his weight around, you don't like it, but you don't have a choice in the matter. You just have to do what he said you have to do. So I'm perceiving the Holy Ghost that when God says, if you will believe, you will see the glory. You're about to see God throw his weight around all over your business and what matters in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your enemies are about to feel the weight of God the witches of your family are about to feel the weight of God God is about to use his position and authority to call everything to order in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth somebody holler the glory, glory. God is saying if only you will believe if only you would believe the glory is not for the angels the, the, the glory is not to stay there in heaven the glory is for you you were made in glory you are to live in glory you are to walk in glory when you show up you show up in glory whatever you do has to be in glory but for that God says you have to believe me faith is what will cause you to tap into the realm of the invisible. I close and I say again. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. The Bible says that the things that were made. Were made out of the things that were not seen. Hello. What I see came from a place that I cannot see. Uh, the car that I drive uh, came from a place that I cannot see. The baby that I waited for and now is here. And I come and I say, see, look what the Lord has done. Came from a place that I cannot see. The beauty of this is that faith can tap into that place that you cannot see. You know, faith can tap into that realm that you cannot see. And that is where everything is made. Your marriage is made in that place. Are you hearing me? Your promotion is made in that place. Are you hearing me? Your financial breakthrough is made in that place. It doesn't matter how you want it, when you want it, if you want it. It is made in that place. And the Lord is saying, I'm telling you. One more time, if only you would believe, you would see the glory of God. Put your hands together and give the Lord a praise.
as the element for Holy Communion as be, are being distributed right now and as those online are getting ready with their elements as well, I leave you with that thought. You can tap into the reservoir of God. You can shop. Now I understand what the Bible says you can buy without money. Because there's a shop where you don't need money. All you need is faith. You can tap into it. And you will be able to receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody's life is about to take another leap altogether. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory is your portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can see your glory, Lord. I can see your glory, Lord. Yes. By the blood of Jesus, I believe. Mm. I can see your glory, Lord. I can see your glory, Lord. By the blood of Jesus. I believe I can see your glory Lord I can see your glory Lord by the blood of Jesus I believe Hallelujah the book of first Corinthians chapter 11 Reading from verse 23, the Bible says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord, we break bread today over the glory, the manifest presence, splendor, honor, and power of God that we are able to tap into if we will just be bold enough to believe. Father, as we eat, let the mystery of the body of Christ increase our faith. And take us to another level of belief in the name of Jesus. You may eat. In the same manner. He also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Yes, through your blood. We are able to get into a covenant of glory. May your glory be our portion. In the name of Jesus, you may drink. The devil, like it or not, you will finish with a bang. Amen. I see that word. You will finish with a bang. Amen. I see your level of faith Woo! increasing. Woo! I see your level of faith increasing. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. Now to seal this word, I want you to take your best offering. For those online, you know our online payment methods, your debit, credit card, your transfer into the NetBank account, or PayPal, please use it and seal what the Lord has spoken over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, blessed be your holy name. 
the God of our Father, the God of our Flukal. Jesus the Christ, the anointed one and his anointing. How we love you for the beauty and the power of your word. Let this word set us free to choose to believe you like we have never in the past. To take away the stone to allow you to perform the miracle that you want to perform in our lives. Bless every hand that is giving right now, oh God. Someone is giving sacrificially. Lord, remember them in this season in the name of Jesus. Bless every hand that is giving and take us to another place even in our finances for it is time to build the kingdom in the name of of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may give unto God. And we just want to remind you that uh, tomorrow, 7 o'clock uh, Central African time, we will have our teaching and healing service. And we are looking forward to a great word and a great moment in the Holy Ghost on that which will be the 33rd day of our 40 days Amen. of prayer and fasting. Woo. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Amen. Shalom. Hallelujah. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arf Lukau on all social media platforms at Arf Lukau.